Joining Sharon Cotton ahead of racing on Friday and graduation time will be the yard's first runner stepping out in race one. Now very versatile on the surfaces, he's holding form well and Sharon is due to pop up any day soon. Yes, um, graduation time's got a draw, he's been knocking at the door so hopefully it finally opens for him. Two runners in race two, more than a dream, just pipped last time out. She'll race alongside this lovely lady in picture, almost in Seattle. More than a dream was very unlucky in her last. You know, nothing seemed to go away, but she did run on strong. She's been pretty consistent and she has got a good draw, so expecting another good follow-up run from her. Almost in Seattle, um, we brought her back in trip. She just totally emptied out over the ground and we've taken all the headgear off, so hopefully she can show improvement with that. In race three, another two runners, Sunlit from Heaven, who's given two good accounts of herself so far locally. She'll be joined by Countess of the Stars. Sunlit from Heaven, she's got a draw, she enjoys the trip, could also be looking for a little bit further, so expecting another good run from her. Um, Countess of the Stars, she has got a good draw, um, she needs a trip. Yeah. Um, you know, she's quite one paced, but um, we're hoping that she can show us what she can do. Moving on to the feature of the afternoon, the Founders Trophy. Another two runners step out to represent the yard here. Bush Tracker possibly found the 2000, a little bit of a stretch in the Algoa Cup last time out. He'll be joined by Medler's Tart, who cuts back to the mile. Yes, Bush Tracker, we brought him back to the 1600 metres. He's got the good draw. He really enjoys that uh, track and the trip. Yeah. So expecting a good run from him. Medler's Tart. There's nothing for her in the race card, so we're taking our chances. It's going to be a touch short for her, but hopefully she can earn a little bit of a stake check. And finishing up in race eight is Global Rush. Now, she's given two good accounts of herself in her last two starts, which have been over track and trip. Yes, and she has got a good draw. Um, she's been pretty consistent. We have put the blinkers on because she tends to lose a little bit of concentration in the final stages, and hopefully that can do the trip and we can be in the money. The last race of the day, always open. Global Rush, though, is a horse I do think has got a shot at finding the frame.